It walks, it talks, it crawls on its belly like a reptile. Just one dime, one tenth of a dollar. Wait a minute. This ain't a song. This is the Rally 8 and 1 portable power source. Welcome to yet another review. This one's uh, about a nice unit that I paid a lot of money for. Around $150. It's the, like I just said, the Rally 8 and 1 portable power source. And this is not a generator. So don't be thinking, you know. If you can run your refrigerator off this for indefinitely or well you might be able to but the difference between this and a generator is well in the name a generator will generate power sustainable power this will not generate sustainable power this is just a power source it has uh, eight different functions and we'll talk about this talk about those functions right now the first function, it functions as a light. It has a USB port. It has a, uh, a cigarette light, lighter charging port. It has a plug for your 110 units, such as a uh, electric razor or like a laptop. This is basically for like overnight camping or weekend camping. Uh, it's highly recommended when you first get this unit that you plug it in and let it charge for 24 hours. Uh, on the side over here is an air pump station, good for airing up car tires, bicycle tires, motorcycle tires, AV, ATV, or your air mattress. Whatever you choose to do or needs to air it up, this little station will do just fine. Simply connect this part right here, the valve, and hit the switch. On the other side of the unit is jumper cables. Now, the jumper cables are good for charging or jumping your car off. Now, it's recommended that this on a full charge, when you connect these battery cables, that you let the unit stay attached to the battery for a duration of three minutes before trying to crank your battery. Uh, and also on the front of this thing, you will also see this, uh, lets you know the status of your battery. Red needs to be charged. Green has got a full charge. Here is, is a indication that your power is on. Now, if you're going to use, uh, what am I trying to say here? If you're going to stick anything to the USB port down here, Make sure this unit is off before you stick it in there. And the unit you're getting ready to, to stick in there. Because uh, I'm getting this feeling if you plug a USB into that with that unit on, it might do some damage to it. So a good thing is, is to make sure this unit is off before you plug anything into it. Then once you plug something into it, then by all means turn the unit on. Uh, it weighs roughly between 10 and 15 pounds. Like I say, if you're if you're just going camping, overnight camping, or a weekend camping, uh, charge this joker up and you have a power source. Again, this is not a generator. It is an emergency power source for you to use in case of emergencies such as a dead battery, uh, airing up your tires, air mattress. It's the things I've, I've mentioned earlier. This is James with you. I hope you, you'll pick one of these up. They come in very handy. Oh, one other thing. If you're going to uh, have some stuff to do out in your backyard, this would come in handy as a power source. Until next time, have a nice day.